Hello everyone, welcome to Start at GK quiz number 326. This video is aimed to help you with your state and central government exams like SSC, UPSC, state PSCs, and banking and insurance related examinations like RRB, IBPS, etc. I'm Ritvisha from GK today and I'll be taking you through this. Which of the following article was added to Indian Constitution by 25th Amendment Act, which gives the directive principles in Article 39 B and C? Primacy over fundamental rights guaranteed under Article 14 and 19 of the Indian Constitution. Correct answer is Article 31C. The 25th Amendment of the Constitution in 1971 added a new clause, Article 31C, to the Constitution. This was a drastic change. The award objective underlying Article 31C was to usher in the country at an early date the era of a socialist pattern of society. Article 31C had two parts. The first part protected a law giving effect to the policy of the state towards securing the principles challenged on the grounds of infringement of fundamental rights. The second part of the Article 31C originally sought to oust the jurisdiction of the courts to find out whether the law in question gave effect to the principles of Article 39B and C. Consider the following statements about Comptroller and Auditor General of India or CAG. The salary and allowances are charged from the Consolidated Fund of India. The appointment is for a period of 6 years or up to the age of 65 years. After retirement, Comptroller and Auditor General can be appointed as member of UPSC or Chairman of the State Public Service Commission. These are the points 1, 2 and 3. Bring out the correct statements. Among these, 1 and 2 are correct. The Comptroller and Auditor General of India is an authority established by Article 148 of the Constitution of India, which audits all receipts and expenditures of the Government of India and the state governments, including those of bodies and authorities substantially financed by the Government. The Office of Comptroller and Auditor General of India has been created in or on the basis of what? It has been created on the basis of the Indian Constitution, that is the Constitution provides for it. The Constitution of India provides for an independent office of the Controller and Auditor General of India. He is the head of the Indian Audit and Accounts Department and helps the Parliament or State Legislature hold their respective governments accountable. In which year the Controller and Auditor General of India was relieved from his responsibility of maintenance of accounts? Correct answer is 1971. Today, it is responsible for the audit of the financial transactions of the union and state governments and union territories. In which year, two election commissioners were first appointed after the President of India fixed the number of election commissioners to two? Correct answer is 1989. The current commission was established in 1950 when it had a chief election commissioner appointed. Membership increased on 16th October 1989 to three with the increase of two commissioners who were appointed to the commission. That commission ceased on 1st January 1990 when the Election Commissioner Amendment Act of 1989 superseded the earlier of the commission. It continues today in operation. The Constitution 61st Amendment Act 1988 substituted the words 18 years for 21 years so that a person who attains the age of 18 years is eligible to vote. In which of the article was this amendment made? This was made in Article 326. So, the 61st Amendment of the Constitution of India, officially known as the Constitution 61st Amendment Act 1988, lowered the voting age of elections to the Lok Sabha and to the legislative assemblies of the states from 21 years to 18 years. This was done by amending Article 326 of the Constitution, which concerns elections to the Lok Sabha and the Assemblies. Who among the following recommends the President of India regarding the principle which should govern the grants and aids of the revenues of the state out of Consolidated Fund of India? The correct answer is the Finance Commission. The key role of the Finance Commission in India is to act as an instrument to divide proceeds of divisible taxes between the states and the union government, or in case of taxes that are collected by the centre but the proceeds of which are allocated between the states, to determine the principles of such allocations. For which of the following bodies no constitutional guidelines exist? Correct answer is the Planning Commission. So this is because authority for creation of the Planning Commission 
was not derived from the constitution of India or statute. It is an arm of the central government of India or it used to be till Niti Aayog replaced it. Who among the following was the first deputy chairman of the planning commission? That would be Gulsari Lal Nanda. Gulsari Lal Nanda was also uh, the uh, uh, interim acting prime minister of India for two short periods following the deaths of Jawaharlal Nehru in 1964 and that of Lal Bahadur Shastri in 1966. He was an Indian politician and economist who specialized in labor issues. Which of the following article deals with the appointment, duty and tenure of Advocate General of the State? Correct answer is 165. Article 165 states, Advocate General for the State is a person who will be qualified to be appointed as a judge of the High Court. He holds office during the pleasure of the Governor of the State and his duty is to give advice to State Government on legal matters and perform duties of legal character assigned by the Governor. That's all for today's quiz. Until the next video, goodbye.